I think we're live. I would suspect oh. so. I believe that someone will notify me if everything is broken. What's up, everybody? And welcome to our PAX panel. This is the Firescape and Nextlander PAX panel. We joined forces because we like each other so much. And we didn't have anything to do on this Thursday evening. So I'm Mary, um, and I'm glad to be with you guys. Uh, and we have five other amazing people live with us that are definitely here and definitely oh, yeah. moving and can talk. How's it going? Dan. Well, it's, it's great. See, Mary, having only three people on Fire Escape, it's so easy to get us all together at the same time. So I'm just so glad we're all here. Uh, you know, Mike, how do you feel about it? Oh, so dear. good. Oh, Mike. Mikey Moonshine's here. Hello. It's incredible. I wish I could. <laughs> Wait, no, go ahead. It's incredible to be here. I so fucking love it. Mikey, M Mikey Moonshine's here live. Wow. I, th I thought he was here. I thought he was behind oh, the picture. Like. I know. Yes. I do a good impression. But we also, we can't do this alone. So uh, we called upon our amazing friends at Next Lander, and we got you guys here live in the flesh. How's it going, Vinny? It's going well. You 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 literally do do this alone. <laughs> you guys could do this alone. But I am very thankful to be asked to join you. We all are. It is awesome to see everybody here uh, Mary, our, our best and number one guest on the Next Lander podcast. Uh, uh, and yeah, we're, I'm, I'm psyched, especially to be here where I'm Mike Mahardy. I haven't seen him in person for such a long time. He's a joy. Um, yeah. Mike Mahardy. Uh, the punctual uh, Mike Mahardy is how we know yeah, him. Yeah. I mean, we, we got here early. <laughs> We've been doing tech time. setup since uh, like eight ten, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, and uh, you know it's just it's just amazing the dedication and the squint mm -hmm. that Mike can bring to a uh, table. Alex, yeah, no, I'm you know I'm I, I love Mike. You know it's it's always a great time spending time with him. You know I mean it's just like look at that face, look at that face, like that is a face everyone loves. Mm -hmm. And he's here. That's the best part. Yeah, yeah he's, that's, he's that's, present. That's, yeah, so his presence is the best part. It is important, Brad, uh, Brad. Tell us, tell us more about Mike. This is now the Mike Mahardy fan <laughs> cast. Oh, let's uh, see. I've hung out with Mike two, maybe three times in my life. Um, okay, and that's about all. What, just, what context? And they were the most memorable times of your life. He's a perfectly jovial person to drink beer with. I can tell you that. Oh, he's great for that. Yeah, he's really but, good but, for that. But did you have like, did you have like fifteen or twenty scheduled things you were supposed to hang out with him with, and then he just showed up for two or three of them? No, is that there were okay. more impromptu than that. We didn't quite get mm. to that level. Vinny, <laughs> yeah. Vinny, he would. That is something I definitely miss about uh, living in New York City and working in New York City. Is just those nights where we would wrap up at the office and just like you know we would go out to a bar and just try to find one that wasn't too packed, and me, you, and Mike would chat all the time. I missed that. That was fun. That was fun. That was uh, we went to that um, like that Korean uh, chicken place that was so oh, good. Uh, uh, oh, olive place, yeah. olive BBQ olive chicken. Yeah, that was incredible. There was the place yeah. that always had the crappy bands come in once we were like settled there for like forty minutes. What was yeah. that place? The green um, awning. There was like a Toad the Wet Sprocket cover brand, band that I had like never ever seen that before. And it like yeah. yeah, it's one of those places where the tables smell like the dirty rag, you know, like that they use. And mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I know the smell. I kind of love the smell. I'm used to the smell, but it's like I know what that smell is now. I mean, that's, it, that's the smell of Toad the Wet Sprocket. They got the right <laughs> the right vibe yes. there. Somebody has wiped this wet sprocket. So yeah, I, I do miss that as well. I don't miss the part where I have to get into the city through New York, uh, New Jersey transit or out of the city through New Jersey transit. I remember you having to walk across the metal gear bridge to get home in a snowstorm once. Yeah, I didn't do, I, I chickened out and I didn't do it. I didn't. That's I thought you it, did. Metal gear bridge. No, I, I, I got call that every time bridge. I see it. No, it I got half. You don't remember this? I sent you a picture. I got you were halfway, slipping, and, right? And, and then, and then the tanker came from underneath and it just jumped right off. Right. Right. Stop the camouflage it, shorted it, out in the yeah, rain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you flicked the yeah, cigarette. I, I, yeah. I thought you saw that. I, yeah. It's a really boy, graceful I, landing video. Well, it's really had impressed. Self camo on. How could he see? It? That's true. That's, that's true. true. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I couldn't do it. It was I. I am uh, terribly afraid of heights. And then it was snowing and icing. And I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is. I'm gonna die. I can't do this. And uh, on the way up there, my phone died. So the last thing I sent my wife was going to try to walk across GW Bridge. Hopefully see you in about 45 minutes. And then my phone died after I sent it. Uh, oh, no. And it was like three or four hours before the next time I could uh, message her. Yeah, that was a that was a fun night. When was the last time you were in the city? 
Um, probably when Alex and I packed up the office. Oh, that makes uh, sense. Was, yeah, 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 yeah. Tearing it all down. Time. Yeah, I'm trying to think if unofficially I've gone through the city for anything, but I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so. I drove into Washington Heights to go pick up a replacement air conditioner. That was it. That's the only nice. other time. What uh, What is in that room now? The old studio. Uh, just that uh, burgle. Uh, nobody would touch the burgle. Uh, my Man, I could have used that, Benny. I could have used yeah, that here. Yes. Totally it's, uh, well, really. It's probably yeah. It's it's I it's, I wrote haunted. Do not touch, and then uh, left it on a table. And I assume it's still there, or it they would have to on, demolish the whole building. It lives on as a monument. I could have put it right here. Who, oh, for those who are still in that office, to remind them never to let anyone do anything like that ever again. Wait. Uh, so Dan, so Dan, you if this people are listening to the audio version of this at some point only, you is that do you paint your? We wall have an audio or? version. I don't know. I it's, we, I don't know what, is this a podcast? One at one point. Well, yeah. like if it's an archive, listen, I'm not here to, sure. I'm not here to make any promises. Vinny, if, if you just yeah. Twitch is a video. I wasn't recording. I'll, I'm recording now. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the panel. <laughs> <laughs> that was some really good banter. I, I wish the VOD. There should be a VOD, right? We should I be had, okay. On I'm going to ask them for the VOD. But I was I yeah. wanted to record it on my own and have full control. But here we are. Um, yeah. As a PAX panel, we wanted to talk a little bit about some fond memories of PAX and previous PAXs, PAX lore, uh, canon PAX history, all that juicy information. How many PAXs mm. have you been to, Vinny? Oh, man. <laughs> Look at Alex. Um... <laughs> What do you, uh, what do you trying to do math? This is what it, this is the face I make when I'm doing math. I'm genuinely and, curious because I don't think I've been to more than like six. I mean, like years. So I've been to how many of us did south? How many have done south? I've done I did one not do south. south. Was that with me, Alex? I'm yeah. I think it was you, me, and Jeff went to that, and that was it. That one right. Year. Maybe that Drew, was right. There, Drew, so Drew was there. Yeah. Yes. Wait, yes. And, and did Dave we go, Did we go to the first one? I must I think have, that right? was the first pack I south. I think. Yeah, or yeah. No, no, first no, no. One. I mean, the first, the first ever. Pax. No, I don't think yeah. so. I, I don't think we. I mean, you know, Giant Bomb only started in 2008, and I want to say packs have been around for. It's been going for a long when time. Did we do that panel with Rich Gallup? But we we did. Um. Well, that was that was the first year, wasn't it? But we covered yeah, packs for, for GameSpot. Um. We would go do appointments there, didn't we? Maybe. Boy, I can't been, remember. Let's see. 2000. Well, when was the first pack? 2004 was the first one. Holy crap! Really? Yeah. So I know I went wow. to the first PAX East, which was in the smaller convention center in Boston, which was definitely not set up for the kind of thing mm. to show that they wanted to do, which is why they moved it. Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, who's Hello. who's this? Do we have a special Someone's guest? Not... Someone's not. Oh, oh, my God. Hey. He stole Sorry. Brad Shoemaker's <laughs> spot. <laughs> I pinged on like six different channels to say I was about to get in. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> we weren't Dude. saying anything about you, Mike. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Hi, Hi I'm Mike. Brad. Hi, I like Brad. Okay, okay, it's it's an go. interesting I'm experience. Just... I, hope you, I hope you enjoy it. So sorry to crash this. Let me Good just to see there. everyone. Good to Hi, see you. Okay. Hi. Apparently Uber talking. can tell you, you 802 and then bring you back at 847. Oh, that's something I was not aware of. <laughs> 45 minutes late? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh. not, I mean, they accounted for traffic, but not 45 minutes worth. Hey, Benny, remember earlier when I said I missed going into the city? Yeah. Turns out I don't. I yeah, forgot about I stuff yeah. like that. Yes. Yeah, it could be a big pain in the boo. Sorry. Sorry, oh. everyone. You should be. You should move to it's Connecticut just, where yeah. you just have to wait 40 minutes for any ride share. How, how well, I'm glad to be in Connecticut. What's that? Alex, go ahead. No, I don't remember. I, just, I was just joking. Don't worry. We can move on. Dan, talk about living in Connecticut. I want to hear about that. I like it. I got a house, and uh, there's like a, there's a bird's nest out front, and there's eggs in it. And I look every day to see if the eggs hatched, and uh, I, I feed the birds. I'm becoming an old bird. I, I'm looking into model trains. These are all true statements. Um, I, got, I got a foundation guy coming tomorrow morning because it rained a bunch, and I look down, and there's a bunch of water in my basement. So uh, it's coming in through a crack in the, the concrete. Uh, so that's happening. Uh, there's a lot of bugs in this room frequently because uh, they're coming in through the AC, so we had to buy some foam to try to spray in there. That should be arriving soon. Uh, wow. So this is uh, its uh, exciting stuff. Vinny, uh, I talked to Vinny for a long time, like over an hour before I moved in, and got some tips. Uh, I cut up a bunch of coax cable in the basement. Uh, it's its uh, its feeling good. I like owning a house. It's good. Wait, why'd you, why'd you cut up coax cable in the basement? 
Well, they had all the rooms, all the bedrooms had like these like coax cables coming out that went to nothing and I don't have cable. And so I asked the whatever internet guy, like, what, how do I get these out of here? I don't want these dangly cables everywhere. And he's like, oh, they're, they're dead. You can just cut them on the basement. So I just, uh, you know, I followed all of them and I was like, okay, that's not going to kill me if I cut that. And I just went all through the basement, tearing it all up and everything. And now I don't have cable anywhere. Oh, okay. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. I have a hammock. what, What kind of bugs you got? Uh, I got this crazy alien uh, antler thing. Uh, I posted a picture of once. It's really gross. I got a, a bug zapper going on right here. If I switch to cam three, you should be able to see it. Yeah, switch um, to cam three. Yeah, please give okay. us cam three. Let like me see. see. Is this cam three? three? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's... Oh, oh crap, 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 crap. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, it's this one, I that's, think. That's nope, cam that's 10. the smash you bet stage. Hang on. Here's... Okay. okay. Oh, it's it's behind the TV. Uh, yeah, you can't see it. The TV's blocking it. So I got a CRT uh, over there. That's nice. Look at this room. It's nice. It's oh very nice. Oh my goodness, look I at you. I think it might actually be bigger than our studio was. Yes. Oh, I it's definitely you... bigger than the Giant Bomb <laughs> studio. There's no question about that. Yeah. That's wild. Um, I, the house bugs are terrifying. I don't know, like, what, like, as soon as I moved into a house, all sorts of, learned a lot about all sorts of bugs. Moths, uh, tiny ones that you can barely even see, but you can feel them, and so you just feel crazy, like you're slapping stuff all the time, and then it's like you can't even see their corpses. Uh, I got an electric tennis racket thing right next to me that sometimes I can take care of them with. Uh, it's just a whole thing. We were recording Fire Escape last night, and Mike had to let me know that what I thought was a black speck on the screen was actually a giant bug on the wall behind me, uh, so that was terrifying. It was crawling towards you, so there was a moment uh -huh. of panic oh. where Dan was mid-story and then slinked off of his chair to go get his trusty zappy boy um it just yes. looks like a tiny tennis racket like a tennis racket mm. for babies uh and then he would oh, come back the boy. and uh every once in a while you can hear it oh, tennis racket for babies it was like short shorting out when last time i did it it was like electrocuting wait no, have, have, done. have you yeah. ever hit any, have you ever zapped anything with it oh yeah it really does the trick it kills him real have, good have you ever tried licking it no you told me some horse shit about batteries one time that was... No, you told me about power tools licenses. Uh, and I believed that for a long time, that you needed to have a license to operate power tools. Yeah, it's true. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> People told me true. you were fucking with me. It's not true, mm -hmm. Vinny. You can you just buy get... a drill. Uh, maybe in Connecticut. I mean, maybe in Connecticut. You can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. It's, it's a state law yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. With a cord or without a cord? Um, oh, let's try yeah. looking at it. See what happens. See, like the, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, would that actually kill me? Would it be I like I, I just assume it's a Blanca situation? It would literally be like you'd see my skeleton on the thing, and it would just be like yeah. yellow jagged lines. There's definitely that much juice in the two double A's that are. There. What would it yeah, do? Would many, my tongue go how away? Many, how many batteries oh, are in? No. I don't. It's a, US, a micro USB charges it. So what is oh. it like? Does it kill? Oh, does it zap yeah. my taste buds? Like what? Well, would it just sting? Yeah, would it just like sting? a little numb for a bit? I don't know. There's but like, only also, one way to find out. I'm not. I think I would actually. I'm convinced I would die. It's the, oh, that's the gross corpses, part. Dude. Yeah. Ask it's the kind bugs. Of pleasant. Yeah. Ask I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, if, you had a, on a dare. if you had a pacemaker, I'm, I would question it. But I think you'll be I, fine. I assume what horse. would happen is you, it would you do like six different poses, right? Like very like quickly, like ah 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 yeah. ah, as it's going right, and then like you, then when it stopped, you'd be smoking, and your beard would be like oh, out. it'd be like frayed like, at the end and yeah, burning, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. Like, and then we'd all have a good laugh and be like oh Dan, that sounds like good content. I gotta yeah, do, I gotta make a bit goal for that. Marv at the <laughs> washing machine <laughs> doing the. Oh. <laughs> I, I like how I like how Discord rejected Mike's voice there and just like yep. shut it down. We just nope. don't want any part of that. This. Oh, <laughs> um, oh, that got through, unfortunately. Yeah. So, Mary, to an answer your question, um, like a couple of packages. <laughs> like uh, it's been, um, I probably like probably, uh, like a, a lot. Uh, at some point, we were going to two a year. Uh, some people were doing that three, the third one. We we're doing two a year, and then oddly enough. Both of my kids were born around PAX. So my daughter was born end of August, and my son was born end of uh, May, which wound up being PAX East and PAX West. And so that's when I started alternating PAXs and kids' birthdays to say, mm, oh, this is a PAX year. Sorry, sweetie. Uh, Daddy's got to go do a panel. Uh, it's Max gets his birthday this year, uh, which is my son. So, yeah, it was, it was a lot. A lot of PAX is a lot. I Wait, always really enjoyed them. Are you your children and telling them you're still going to PAX once a year? I, would ju I just got back from E3. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. It was, it was a hell of a trip. Uh, whew, man, that was a long one, right, guys? The uh, – 
the the thing I loved is it was and and listen, I love seeing y'all and this is great, but I really did like seeing everybody else there. Like it was such a yeah. great place to meet people and pick up um colds you hadn't got before. Uh, ever. Yeah, the Pax Box. I always miss the things where it's like you would just be going back to the hotel or something at the end of the night, and it's just like there's always the the lobby bar there or whatever. It's like, oh, there's Lang. Lang saw me. Oh, he's <laughs> handing me drinks. I guess this is the next five hours. Okay, it was always fun though. It, it, I remember some of those Paxomania things uh, the next mornings being like super rough <laughs> at those Pax. Oh, well, me, Mike, and Mary had one really rough one. Morning? Yes, like and be yeah. like completely out of it. And like, oh god, what are we supposed to say? What's the thing? What's the bit here? Like, yeah, those were those were rough sometimes. It's always Sunday morning. Well, you know, I mean, we did such a good job rehearsing those shows and really working out the kinks beforehand. <laughs> so, you know, it really, it all just moved very smoothly. That's why you're so Except upset when business. something goes wrong, because you've put so much energy into the preparation <laughs> of it that when you're that hungover, it's just a big disappointment that you can't execute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, when you set off the fire alarm, you know, that's like, that's that's 11 months of work down the drain. <laughs> I will say that was one of the most impressive moments of vamping I've ever seen is when the, the fog machine set up the fire alarm and we were fucked for like 40 minutes. And Greg Miller, of course, is the one just like, give me the microphone. I'm just going to say shit for 40 minutes and like mm -hmm. did it and it worked and kept the crowd engaged and everything. Like I remember watching that being like, wow, OK, I think he might be really good at this thing. I think turn on yeah. the fog machine was like a trending thing that we heard for years became a part of. Oh, yeah. Good PAX lore was when the fog machine happened i think yeah. it became an actual character in the lore if i remember correctly <laughs> the fog machine itself yeah. yeah it became a sentient presence somewhere in the lore canonically who is the uh who is the champion right now i don't actually remember because i haven't done it in a few years and i'm not sure oh. where things left off there is a belt somebody has that belt somewhere yes it's true someone is still league of heels championship champion, championship it's not championship yeah is it yeah. strap is it finny championship <laughs> It's me. It's me. I, I took the belt. Are you the CEO yeah. champion? Somebody left it on the floor, and I just picked it up at some point. It was next to some sugar glass and uh, tears. And a that Kendra's sugar thing. glass busted me open. That that is no. That, that's the only time I've done. <laughs> Did it really cut you? Stuff. I've got pictures of my little... head blood on a table. What? Yeah. You had a little nodule yeah. of blood on there. Uh huh. Isn't the whole point to not do that? That's what I thought. It's you a lot you, less blood than regular glass would give. Yeah, you, you didn't yes. you didn't, you didn't palm a razor and just like you to do it like ah oh, like I know I know like there's where the crimson what kind of what kind of, yeah. what kind of business do you think this is? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've seen you guys kick each other in the face and throw people on a t on a table. I'm not really sure. I saw people come in riding humans, uh, people mm -hmm. using people as dogs. It's it's a weird show. I don't know. It's it's and then where is the line? I don't, <laughs> is it Rubens? Exactly. Was Rubens the dog, Mary? You were the dog walker, right? It was Rubens and Ian. Is that I've right? I had many, uh, many pets. Uh, Ian was yeah. my favorite. Ian Kelly. <laughs> yeah. I think I've had because I did it at Australia, which you guys weren't at, and mm. I didn't have. I didn't know as many people there, and I just literally tweeted, "Does anyone want to be my dog?" And I had two people show up, oh. and I put ears on them, and I said, "Get out there." You got to be careful with that one. Well, they yeah, were yeah. Good about <laughs> it. <laughs> I lucked okay. out. I got two good That's ones. Good. Yeah, strays okay. are important. You know, you can't always get grade A. You gotta, you get them where you can. <laughs> That's right. You don't, you don't look for papers when you're just asking for asking for a dog in Australia. That's like five minutes to the show. <laughs> That's that's impressive. I know. Uh, what are they doing now? They're doing PAX, uh, Prime, or is it PAX West now? They call it not Prime, all right? So this is, is technically West. East, right? What we're east. doing right now. It's I do. and then yeah, surely that's right. And West yes. is in uh, a person in a building with you know a tangible elements, right? Correct. Tangible elements, not. Fungible. I mean, it's in the real world. It's in the real world. Yeah, it's like there's controllers and people and stuff. Yes, there will be bodies there. I don't know how. Yeah, many, but there will be bodies. Okay. Yeah. Same old convention center. Yes, I believe it is still at the same place. Okay, that's cool. That's um, I don't know if I'm ready for those kind of crowds. This is uh. Oh, I'm definitely uh, not. Yeah, yeah. That's uh. I think I have the like. I, I used to really enjoy seeing everybody and doing all that stuff. And even now when it's like a group of 10 people, I'm like, wow, this is a lot. This, uh, you know, to, like, yeah, to go from uh, nothing, because I mean, I was, you know, really kind of uh, holed up in in, uh, in my apartment throughout most of the pandemic. And then to go from that to uh, I went to a work conference in April that had 25,000 people at it. And that's uh, a real rough swing where it's like, wow, that's a lot of people. <laughs> right. Big events and stuff. That's that's crazy. In April? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was fully wow. vaccinated and everything. Yeah. Okay. That's 
Yeah, yeah, I was good. We were still masks and everything, but like I was fully vaccinated. So I that went was to my a first wedding like, travel thing in May, and I mean, I remember being stressed about that. And it was a mm. room of people that were vaccinated, um, but you just never know, and it felt stressful. And I remember taking breaks and being like, "I'm going to go to the bathroom," even though you didn't have to go because you wanted to. You, I forgot. I forgot how to social. I forgot how to yeah. carry a conversation for that long. And look people in the eyes. That's something I really forget because I can look anywhere. You don't know where I'm looking. You don't know what I'm doing over here. I don't miss the necessary eye contact. I'm not good with eye contact. So <laughs> video video recordings are great because I can look wherever. Yeah. You want us to throw up the photo of you again just to make things a little easier? Mm -hmm. or? I got That'd it. be great. But, but can we cut out the wherever. eyes and put his actual eyes there like the old Conan bit? Can we do that? Hi. Hi. I'm <laughs> This is my cake. This is my cake cabinet. It's NBA and NBA. Come play my cake cabinet. <laughs> no, it's just I, I don't know. Eye contact's never been easy. What happened? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this happens more than you'd it's think that, on fire uh, escape. That was like a, was hey. like a Carmen meets like. <laughs> hey, I just shaved my face. This is my cake cabinet. Come play NBA basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's probably good. offensive. It's I don't know. Not good. <laughs> not good at all. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't know how to how to <laughs> modify it. The ball, the hoop, and the fabric thing. It can just get two points. Go behind that line. It'll be three. No, I really don't miss eye contact. Like I yeah. suck Fair at enough. eye contact. It's a genuine problem. I've been working on it throughout my whole life. But I actually, I think I was telling Dan and Mary this. I have a huge problem with eye contact, and now on video. Uh, just calls in general, it's nice to be able to not have to look square into someone's face and feel everything that they're thinking. Do you ever, do you ever, when you're on a meeting, do you just stare into the camera? Like when you're, when you're talking, <laughs> when it's your turn to talk and you just look right into the camera and, that and talk? feels weird. Yeah, that's like no. yeah, eye contact. Like I can't do, ugh. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, I'm, just, I'm talking to you guys right now. So this is me talking right to the camera instead of- Well, but you guys do the Twitch stuff now and everything. So do you do more like, like we didn't do a ton of chat stuff at Giant Bomb. You know, we typically, sometimes we'd have the iPad up with the chat and everything, but UPF and everything, we didn't have the chat. So are you guys transitioning now that you're doing Twitch? Like, are you doing more of that and and, and talking to people on the fly? Or since you've got a few of you, because I, I do that all the time because it's just me and that's who I talk to. But like, do you guys find yourselves talking amongst yourselves or with the chat more? more amongst ourselves but like you know we've been keeping the chats open and trying to interact where possible yeah uh thanks mechatron for the sub uh we do it a little bit uh here and there <laughs> nice. Nice. how much do you charge for farts? he's a natural yeah, yeah. We, don't, we don't we don't have the fart api hooked up yet but we're working oh Vinny, talk to <laughs> yeah. me afterwards i'll get you set up with the fart functionality okay good yeah yeah, yeah. we've been uh we've been really trying to thread that needle between what's too long a fart and what's uh what's too short a fart well, you gotta give them variety yeah. yeah. Wait, Vinny, um, what was the thing? You said something before we went on the air that uh, you said save it about uh, me me taking names of features. Oh, when when I was when I was still at Giant Bomb and you messaged me being like, "Hey, can I can I do this? Can I just do this as the run?" And I said, "I don't think you can just do that." Uh, but why? I, like I, legally, I, who who comes after me? How does this work? Who comes after you? I don't, Red I don't Ventures. I don't know. Work John Law. You should ask them. Dude, we didn't like copyright. We weren't filling out paperwork for like burgle my bananas. Like I could just do that, right? I did. You well, didn't have to worry about it because I filled out all the paperwork for burgle my you. bananas. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Me and Vinny you, took care of it. You didn't have to worry about it. You could do anything yeah, yeah. you want until you hear from lawyers. So, who, yeah, I, who the fuck's fine. coming after me for this is the run dan this is things who? that people say right before they get sued it's also That's like right. it reminds uh, me of like what are you gonna do stab me or terrible well <laughs> i didn't use this is the run so we're fine but you said i did it with several though i don't even know which other one you were talking I thought about there was another one that you messaged me and was like it would be okay if i did this and i was like i don't i don't think you can do this but i can't remember what it was huh. um well i didn't use it so so legally we're we're cool yeah, no, you're in, Listen, you're in the clear. You, you, you're cool with. I, I am not an employee there oh, anymore. Right, yeah. you are, <laughs> well, I'm not you your care, boss. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> your boss, nor do I even work there. So hey, listen, go. Uh, Jan's gonna come go after nuts. me. Go <laughs> burgle yeah. your bananas. Uh, all, <laughs> mm. all you want. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I like. Let's. I, I, everything as far as I understand, everything you created there, they own. And that includes all the names and rights of 
of everything there. Uh, every image of you taken during that time they own, so you know you can't um, you can't reproduce any of the that content. It's my I'm pretty sure the name Dan Reichert belongs to them too, so you might want to change that soon. Mm -hmm. Jeez, mm -hmm. it's my shoot name. When yeah, we we, uh, we did Mary King and I are, at yeah, yeah. GameSpot, and when we left, they kept making Resident Evil games. So we were like, Canini is is now the name. <laughs> oh, we asked. <laughs> yeah. Well, I should actually no, I shouldn't say that we asked. We, we just assumed we couldn't say Knievel anymore, so now we call it Canini. But I still say Knievel all the time. You're working yeah, on I, eight like, now, right? Yeah. Mary's yeah. a, toward the end of she's in the factory in village. I think I got right, like, right. just a little bit left, maybe like one more stream, like one episode, yeah. it's like two hours. Right. Yeah, it's getting we've been threatening to put a VR helmet on Brad and make him play seven. Ooh, that's, that's the true. most effective VR experience, I've like to date. I think do that to myself. I would no, yeah. love pretty to good. see that. As a matter of fact, can you do it on PC now, or is it still just PSVR? Uh, somebody might have hacked it in, not officially. Oh, okay. It officially, gotcha. it's still PlayStation only. I'm not sure if somebody's. I mean, the people get everything working in VR these days, right? I'll never forget yeah. Alien Isolation in VR, which was a hack that we did at the time, and that they was had the a demo VR experience ever. Speaking of industry shows and stuff, they had an official demo. I think it was like the VR company had like a VR version of Alien Isolation that they showed off before the game came out, but then it was never actually released in any official form. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Resident Evil Seven rules in vr that was great that game does such a good job of doing like what outlast did when it's like you know there's a basement and you don't want to go down there but then there's you pick up some sort of puzzle piece or clue that hints that you really need to go to the basement and that's when vr becomes terrifying the anticipation of going down there that was yeah. great resident Evil 7 does that really well I think oh. the idea was we were going to put Brad into isolation so he wouldn't hear me and Vinny talking over Ooh. him. Yeah, no, I mean, you uh, have to. That's the... You yeah. have way to. to. I can't break the immersion if we're going to get the authentic experience. I mean, well, that's I, still that still is on, uh, on, on, the, on the, docket. the docket. It's on yeah. the list. It just has I not would like to see that to the top just yet. Yeah. Right. The Vinny, with you producing... Us is making these decisions. <laughs> Vinny, with you, you've produced so many live streams over many years and different types of technology and everything. So moving over to Twitch... What has been that? What, what's that experience been like for you? <laughs> well, Dan, thanks for the que great question. Thanks. Um, I'll, I'll sit back down. <laughs> very, very great question, Dan. That's the best um, part of PAX is the questions, right? <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> um, it's so what? I, what you know? We have we had a, a kind of custom CMS, a content management system, when we've been you know through various jobs, GameSpot, Giant Bomb, a bunch of stuff. Um, there is there's something nice about uh whether it's youtube or twitch places that have streamlined that for the like lowest common denominator the drag and drop mm -hmm. process of those things is very easy <laughs> you just you know you drag your file into youtube you, even getting our stuff when we were at, at giant bomb at the time and things might have changed i don't know but at the time it was more complicated than just uploading it directly to, to youtube like just dragging it onto the thing i mean there were a lot of back-end settings we did not have control over uh so you know monetization and ads and uh, what what countries it's going to be uh, allowed in? So you know that stuff. Once you have the keys to the kingdom and can set it up per your liking, it is a little easier. But streaming streaming to to Twitch um, is 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 easy. Streaming to YouTube also is very easy. You know they have them set up so that everyone can do it. I mean you could you could stream from your PS4, right? Uh, your your, your phone or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's super easy. Uh, when you use a more custom application, you have to kind of have someone else then change the front end for what you use every time something else changes there. So every time Twitch or YouTube would change something on their API, Giant Bomb or CBS would have to then account for that and change something on their front end. So, you know, that takes engineering time and that's that's hard and difficult. So it's, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, but you get things that uh, you you are then on somebody else's platform, right? It, it, mm -hmm. That's the cost of doing business. So, you know, um, if you get strikes or you get, uh, you know, the whole video game thing of, uh, you know, demonetized or going to be muted or, or, you know, somebody else is is owning that platform, allowing you to publish content on it under their rules. So that's the that's the big trade off, right? You are not you are not in charge of that. It's maybe the oh. rudest awakening since we started was the morning of that Nintendo E three conference when ninety minutes oh. before it yeah, started. Yes, word, yeah. Word yep. came out in Japanese only that maybe we shouldn't actually stream that on this 
we yep, had a yeah. whole channel and it was like, should we do this? Should we not do it? Like we never had to think about this before. And now I err on the side of caution with that. I, I turned down the direct feed thing. Like it's yeah. like, ah, I'm not going to screw with it. Even if it's like this weird Japanese tweet. Yeah. But like Vinny, you're not using like a, a TriCast or anything, right? Or are you just using just straight up like Streamlabs or something? No. So I'm using vMix uh, uh, at home on a, on a PC here. So I am using vMix. Yeah. Um, I like it a lot. I mean, it, it probably splits the difference between something like OBS and a TriCaster, and it kind of lands right in the middle there. Um, it's somewhat affordable if you want to call like you know eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars afford affordable for a piece of software. But it, it does a lot of the things that uh, I find lacking or or more complicated in OBS. Um, audio was never is never great for me in OBS. Switching scenes between audio, I never really loved in OBS. I think you can get around it. It's just a little complicated. So um, I'm. I'm enjoying it. I think it's it's not a full control center. You know, it's I like a, sure. I like physical apparatus. But uh, yeah, it's going to these services. They have figured it out. It's you know they they know what they're doing. But also you there's there's a lot of good and a lot of bad uh, sure. that, that comes with those things. Um, and also it's generally free, which is pretty good. That's a nice part. Um, Can't beat free. When go, <laughs> yeah, when you go to something like Akamai or Bright Cove or any of those other places, you are then paying a lot of money to host that stuff. It is it is not. And you're paying for storage. And I'm going to let you all know, it never gets cheaper uh -huh. because you're because you're hosting your archives and they uh. just that storage just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the, and then oh then you're moving up to 4K and the old stuff unless you're just going to delete it which you're not it just that storage you know storage gets cheaper but your content never goes away so it might seem like this is easy at first and then suddenly you're like 17,000 petabytes later are like man this is should we just knock off the last 10 years of our stuff because it's cost a lot of money does anybody watch this thing from 2008 and be like well yeah it's it got three views, so we can't. Okay. Anyway, Do you, as the video producer, have a giant hard drive anywhere that has literally everything you did at Giant Bomb? Oh, I got a giant hard drive. Uh, oh, come on my, now. Ah. <laughs> no, it's like a, it's Synology. Like, like there's four of them. Like a, like a, we used to put them. We had them by year. We had them by you know 2018, 2019. Don't remember in the studio had stickers on them. I didn't know yeah. what anything did in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was. <laughs> I never like, knew uh, what keyboard did what. There's a 20 terabyte um. Uh, uh, storage unit for for each year. Oh, and on the we, big stack thing in the in the window room, the control room. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were they were stacked up, and then uh, they would um, they would just kind of fill up, and then we'd have to delete stuff off because we did more than because our stuff was stupid and long. It was like, who? Why do you need archives? Yeah, we were making the worst kind of videos for the internet, the kinds that were like you know ten to thirty gigabytes each. That is not that is not cost effective at all. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was a very big hard drive. They were, they were, they were, they were at the time. They were, I think, the, when you're spending somebody else's money, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get these eight terabyte hard drives and get seventeen of them and let's do it. How much are they? They're like five hundred dollars a piece. Like, yeah, okay. Let's you just got like a thirty-two on. gigabyte thumb drive now. Yeah. <laughs> now that no that's one's right. paying for it. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Now, I, now I just delete everything right away, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, uh, Hopefully, no one wanted to see that ever again. I just took the flash card out of my switch. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> save everything to that. This SD card. Um, yeah. That's uh, any other questions, Dan? Uh, no, I'll I'll yield my time. I think other people are lined up. <laughs> okay. What do you, okay, what do you, what do you think? Talking about packs. What are we Wait, doing but, here? Oh, I had a question. <laughs> oh yeah, Mike, uh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, what do you think happens uh, after you die? <laughs> oh, uh, Brad, you want to take that one? Um, yeah, for anybody. Great. Really. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's just yep, there you go. Yeah, it just ends. I think that, I think yeah. those two. Cool. Anyway. I think I you get. I think you get trapped in the last thing you were thinking about forever. Oh, oh no! Shit. Oh, that's a terrible. That's a terrible one. That's nightmare yeah. fuel of any people talk. Yep. Like think I, about stuff all the time. They don't want to think about forever. That's right, and as your brain just slowly decomposes, uh, uh, you're you're just those those the time slows down, and that's it. I have like an Eddie Money song stuck in my head. I'm just hearing "Take Me Home Tonight" for eternity. Nope. <laughs> that's if right. you're lucky, that's if right. you're lucky, yeah, right. could be worse, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. No, wait. you go to heaven. It's, oh, uh, yeah. it's very yeah yeah. <laughs> it's very it's very pleasant. But only if you were a very good dog in real life. And only if you were, but it's Eddie Money out there all the time. But. Yes, it's oh, Eddie God. Money and every every beloved dog. They're the only ones that are in heaven. <laughs> they deserve it. 
Yes. Yes. Uh, and Eddie Money's dog. I don't know if Eddie Money had a dog. Uh, or Probably. He's dead. At some point. I don't know. <laughs> Eddie Money's dead? Yeah, he, he died. He, dead? Yeah, his dog he, is dead. Is he was thinking about I don't know about the dog situation. Tonight, right before he died. Yeah. <laughs> he was composing a song when he died, so now he has an unfinished Eddie Money song stuck in his head for oh, the rest no. of eternity. You know, Purgatory. Shaken yeah. 2. <laughs> so packs. Uh, yeah. So, so it was a lot. It's been a, married to answer your question. It's been a lot of packs. Yeah. It's been, it's been, uh, it's been uh, more than a few. How many packs have you done? Six, you said, Mary? Something like that. I forget. Then, and I talk about years, not packs, because I've done two to three packs in mm. a year. So I don't yeah. want to, I, I classify that as one packs year. Okay. Because I get them mixed yeah. up. But I do remember the year that um, we all joined forces and had a bar and did a pack oh, wow. as a group. Yeah. Do you guys remember the, uh, that? The parlor? Yeah, the, yeah, the, it was parlor. Like, the parlor. That was maybe my favorite one, yeah. with the, We did the live Mario party. Uh, yeah, sure we did. traded off with GameSpot stuff. Oh, my God. Was that was great. a month no, we after I started. Night, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, just started Mike the can't game join. Spot. Hold on one second. Did we, did we do a Rock Band night? <laughs> did we do a Rock Band night at that comedy club? We did a subscriber night where we, that was a different night that we did like a little restaurant where we all sat on stools and did like Q&A stuff. And then we did, no, you never did rock band while I was there. I remember okay. going to your guys' rock band things while I was at Game Informer, like at the, the Brattle in Boston. Yeah, dude, the, the yes, fucking the rock band nights at the Brattle Theater was kind of the beginning of the end for me and Pax. Honestly. Oh, yeah. I remember, yeah, Brad, I remember hanging out with you and, and Casey Malone drinking while I think like Klepek and a bunch of those guys were up on stage uh, playing like rock band, doing like a panel up there. Yeah. Those were Those always were fun. really fun. I felt, always felt a little bad because we were sort of encouraged to be like, yeah, you know, get drunk and judge these people. And it's like, they're just nice people coming up to sing, you know, their favorite My Chemical mm -hmm. Romance song. And we're just sitting there just berating them at the end. Yeah, you know, was, and it was... wasn't so bad when it was like Patrick Klepek. You know, that's fine. I don't berate yeah, shit yeah. on him. But, you know, the other He's one else, sweet. I felt a little bad. He's pure. As, as, you can't do that to Patrick. As, as people got drunker, I think there was some urge to out Simon Cowell each other. Uh, toward uh, all the people that were singing and it got a little got a little out there so, yeah. i uh i enjoyed watching those things i don't know yeah i i don't think i would ever be comfortable <laughs> judging somebody up there uh just be like but you went up there like, performed a few times Aww. did i i don't know if i, I ever did i think you were I playing know. guitar or something i don't like being in public at all really ever <laughs> Like I uh, or on stage, uh, I have tremendous uh, uh, stage fright and and public speaking uh, problems. I I do it with you guys because you're all very fun to do it with, and it's like makes it very comfortable. But like I uh, I don't I would not choose to. I don't I don't have that thing in me that's like let me get out there and show them what's what. I don't. I thought like that it. was kind of a recurring thing with, especially a lot of the Giant Bomb staff, because I mean, you know, look, we're we're we all know each other. You know, we're pretty good at doing shows together and that kind of thing. But like being up in front of an audience, that's like, well, let's just say between eight hundred and a thousand people staring at you. You know, like yeah. that that's harrowing. Alex, I think it was the the one where I kicked you at the end. I think it was like twenty minutes before that. I had a like full scale no joke panic attack up there, and I remember just being like just freezing up and just being like, oh, I hope no one tosses me or anything. It's like I literally just can't function right now. It's taking all I've got to like not leave the stage. And I remember the ones after that. I was always worried it was going to happen again, so I always had like a flask with me with some whiskey or something. And I remember yeah. Brad, you were sitting next to me one time, and it was like you know we're sitting up there, everyone's kind of filing in, coming in, and I remember thinking like, uh, wow, and Brad's just like. You know, he's so he's just kind of calm and seems like he's done this a million times, not bothering him at all. And I remember you looked over and you saw me pouring whiskey into my Coke Zero. And I remember you just were like, Can I have some of that? <laughs> <laughs> and you just took a swig off my flask. I was like, Okay, all right. He's, like, he's panel, got it too. Panel, like, panel after panel, at packs after packs, I would try to dial in, like, what is the responsible amount of alcohol to drink before this panel so I can get yeah. through it but not make an ass out of myself? It's well, uh, yeah. So, so it's two things. Like, one, I'll just say, Dan, uh, what, whatever panic attack stuff you were going through, you nailed that super kick. So that's all that Thank matters. you. you know, I'm happy that's dead on. That's, two, maybe this is a little peek behind the curtain here. 
maybe you think we went into some of those panels like planning, you know, like having a, an idea of what we were going to do or what we were going to say or how the oh. format of any of that stuff was going to go. Let me assure you, we never, ever did. Ever. Outside of like, we know, oh, okay, somebody like Drake or someone's going to do a bit halfway through. So like at yes. 830 or whatever, make sure there's a break and they can come up and do the hot dog cart thing or yeah. whatever. The year we had like a, a de facto ska band playing, you know, playing us on and off. I remember that was sort of, you know, like, okay, we knew this was going to happen, but also we never rehearsed a thing. Was I that the Symphony the Hall drums. one where it was like, like 2000, 3000? It was like, like no. that huge thing in Seattle. That was insane. That was the biggest there crowd was that, we had. That one was insane. No, that wasn't that one. That was one of the regular East ones. It was just that John Drake was like, hey, we're going to do a band thing and we're just going right. to I'm going to set up my drums and we're going to have a couple of people just play you guys on and off. And I remember he was like, hey, you should play drums on one of these. And then I got on there, and we didn't rehearse anything. We just kind of just winged it. That's part that of the, uh, the charm thing. of the whole thing, right? Sometimes yeah. like sometimes it goes super well, but sometimes you go into something just like not planning at all. Like There were a couple I remember just like 20 minutes in, it's just like, well, none of us really played anything on the show floor, and uh, well, what do you got, Vinny? <laughs> Let's see how fast we can eat hot dogs. Oh, God, I hated that one so Oh, the much. hot dogs. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the thing I'm worst at in the world. <laughs> you're gonna catch them. How many hot dogs you can eat? Bad after that, I did you didn't know. know. You had no idea. You had no, no idea. idea. I never felt. No, no, I was never mad at you about that. <laughs> it's like, not oh, God, that. I do not terribly. that. Uh, <laughs> I really got mad. How dogs did you eat? I, like I probably took two bites and then took 20 minutes to swallow it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're not gonna do the hot dog competition anytime soon, is what oh, you're saying. Oh no, no, no. Okay. No. No. Did it have mustard had... on it? I still won't do mustard. I know. That's what I was thinking. No. It had no, something no. on it you don't like, like relish. No, I think it was just a plain hot dog. Chili yeah. and cheese would be acceptable, but anything else, no way. No ketchup? The Chicago horse shit. No, no, no. Uh, the Chicago horse shit is the weirdest. Like It's like with relish and onion. and How They put like 90 Vinny? things on it. Slice, <laughs> banana peppers. That's so gross. No, just if the meat is fine. Throw some cheese or chili on it if you're feeling crazy, but that's yeah, all you need. In almost all cases, the, the meat and the hot dog is not fine. Yeah, like the hot dog regulations on meat are specifically designed to let people put whatever they want in a hot dog. <laughs> I'm not saying the, the the contents of the hot dog are of like top grade, but I'm saying like taste wise, I've probably had 3,000 hot dogs in my life, and 2,994 of them have been just the meat. I gotta Wait, do just, the math on this. Just, I gotta know just, where you're pulling this from. Just a plain dog, I guess. Yeah, no, plain dog. With, with I'd say the, the times I with went to Sonic, the times yeah. I went to Sonic, oh yeah, with a bun. Yeah, I'm not just like eating, <laughs> taking bites. You're out, not an animal. You know, like, like, a, like it's a Slim Jim. No, like probably the few times I, I've gone to like a Sonic drive-in and didn't just get a bunch of cheddar bites, I would get a foot-long chili cheese coney. But every other hot dog, I think, has been like totally plain. Wait, Dan, say cheddar again. Well, no cheddar. No, no, no. At Sonic yeah, drive-in, yeah. it's Ched, It's like Toys R Us. It's Ched oh. R Bites. So I'm oh, just trying to do the Sonic <laughs> branding correctly. Okay. okay. I don't think you have right. to say the I R. The same I, think it's fine. I just want to respect the branding. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah, so I know <laughs> you. You and brands are like, good way back. Love them. My good yeah. personal yeah. friends, brands. <laughs> brand. My friend brands and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys heard about Bud Light? Uh, no, I no, I. I <laughs> I, just, I, saw, I saw you pouring another beverage right before this, and I almost asked you if it was going to be an ad. It's that brown Bud Light. Is, ooh, is that some? Okay, That's well, not, um, all right. Yeah. Would you put cheese cheese on a hot dog, Dan? Like a cheese, like a cheese uh, product? Of course, of course. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Are you nuts? Well, yes. No. So wait, let's get. So that why don't you do that? Let's put let's put actually, some. Actually, you know what? I have done that. that. No, you know when? Actually, I take it back. When I worked at AMC theaters. Uh, you would have the things for the nachos. Yeah. And since I worked there, we got free hot dogs and everyone stole like cheese and stuff like that. So you just go up to the break room with one of the nacho cheeses and the hot dogs, which the size is perfect to just dunk the whole thing, bun and all, yeah. into the nacho Ooh. cheese. So actually, there were probably four years where I was having nacho cheese hot dogs at least yeah. 10 times a week. Yeah. Uh, that was good. I don't know. Now, what to uh, um, it's like now a French everybody... dip, but for like a maniac. <laughs> oh, that's not a crazy thing. Uh, that's not a weird Dan thing. That's a, that's a hot dog and cheese is just good old fashioned American food. I did I did that as well when I was at the roller rink. The the, uh, yeah, it's good. the, the yeah, it's very it's very yeah. bad for you, but also it is is you can you that stuff you can pull off when you're like sixteen or seventeen, and then which is um, how old I was when I worked there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that's right. like you can yeah your body your body just brushes that stuff right off. If I did that now, I'd probably be in a hospital. Like, uh, you still having your Domino's nights? No. 
No, no, no it's no. been a while. That's Wait, what like constituted a Domino's night? I need to know. That's young. That's young man's living. Oh, you did that bad. as of like two and a half years ago. I was was anything like the, K- the KFC bucket? Yeah, it was very, it was very similar. Okay. Yeah, it's it's my my thirty five hundred calorie nights. Um, Jeez, I've I've left a lot of those behind. But hey, listen, you know, you gotta you make cho- everybody makes choices, and that's one of the choices I made. It's um, I'm not proud you, of it. If you want garbage pizza, you could it. do a lot worse than Domino's. That, yeah, is, do, do, that is a true. Yeah. Domino's oh, isn't really pizza. It's like its own thing. It's like a sure. Domino's. Yeah, it's like it's like the way that Taco Bell is not actually Mexican food. It is just a loose sure. approximation of it. Yeah, yeah. Domino's is Domino's. It's not like real pizza. Domino or Domino's is definitely like one tier above Little Caesars, but they're all better than Papa John's. And then um, I feel like it's Domino's, Little Caesars, Pizza Hut, Papa John's. In in the Midwest, I, like it's so crazy because Pizza Hut was the gold standard of mm-hmm. pizza, and it was so nuts to me. It was that was in Kansas and Minnesota when I lived there, and that was one of the most shocking things about moving to San Francisco for me. Is the first night I was just like, "All right, gonna watch a pay per view. Let's call up old Pizza Hut here six four eight 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 eight. No matter where you are, that's the number." And uh, it's just like, "Oh, there's just no Pizza Hut here." I remember being like, "That has to be a mistake." There, there's no way. Like, pizza Hut is. I thought Pizza Hut was like McDonald's nationwide, where it's like, "Listen, you could live in the middle of Montana." Hannah, and there's You're, four different locations that would deliver to you. That's what I genuinely all, thought. This all makes sense. Your relationship with San Francisco never recovered from that night. I was shocked. It was insane. Well, San Francisco is not a great pizza town. You, Outside always, of that, Tony's. No, it's not. You always You're talk right, about right it here. And now Tony's, is, Tony's is some of the best pizza I've ever had, but yes. the guy's from New York. Yes, exactly. New York. Oh my God, the, it's a uh, embarrassment of riches with pizza stuff there. But also, obviously. if you're talking, if you're talking to your new San Francisco friends, like talking like you're gonna tie someone to a railroad track by ordering pizza and being like, "Hey, okay, let's go order some pizza hut and let's call what it is and then you can go from anywhere." Next so, right. <laughs> was it? I figured export? the only difference would be in San Francisco that like a drone would deliver it to you or something. But like, I assume for sure they would have stuffed crust pizza. Hut. Yeah. They don't really in New York either. I had to walk. I spent like a whole Sunday once walking around looking for a Pizza Hut. And they shouldn't. It's Wait, New York. A pizza hut That's in New a good York? point. I did get in New York. I had to go to a really filthy Pizza Hut. Because it's when they had the Cheez-It pizza. And none would deliver to my house or to my apartment. I just super wanted to try the Cheez-It pizza. Uh, and they're like, well, okay, there's a location way down here. And I lived on the Upper East Side. And I had to walk all the way down. Like It took me like an hour and 20 minutes to walk to one place. And they didn't have it. And I called cor- I like, yeah. And I called corporate, the Pizza Hut. And I was like, where can I get? The- they didn't have the Cheez-It pizza at this location. Like, wh- where in Manhattan can I get this? And they had to like direct me to two other ones. And eventually, in Penn Station underground, they had the filthiest fucking Pizza Hut, and they had the cheese at pizza there. And I went down there. I think there's I complained. A, you there's a Pizza Hut in Penn Station. Uh, yeah. wait, 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 and I complained complain about. Corporate. I complained to corporate about like, how come these locations don't have this new thing you're advertising? And they gave me like fifty dollars gift certificates. And so it, it that's what you mean. And I got the cheese at pizza. Why do you I have a piece? Did you just say it like an Italian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. I got very the tasteful. cheese at pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> was the was the person on the other line like, Jesus, Dan, just stop calling. <laughs> like, you, very you, nice. You, you, Hey, yeah. I'm always extremely nice. That's a very important thing to me about customer service. I've worked several call centers. It's not their fault. So I was very, very nice. I was like, hey, I know you got this cheese it thing. I've been walking around. Oh, I want it so bad. It looks so good. How do I get this thing? I just want it so bad. And they're like, okay, can you walk to this place? And I walk. It's like I was geocaching for cheese it pizza. And uh, they Morpheus let me there. talking to Neo in the bullpen <laughs> in that office. All right, you're going to duck and you're going to go now. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Dan, that's right. We're across train guys, tracks. Re- yeah. That Record guy is irate right now. Where do we have some cheese and pizzas? Tell him to go to Penn. Right, Tell him I'm, gonna ha- get there. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to escalate this one. We got a code seven. We got a. We got a, a guy in uh, Upper East Side can't get a cheesy, cheesy, cheesy pizza. We talk to him. <laughs> Say cheddar, cheddar. We got to get this guy a pizza. And oh, only if, I was call, if I was call, hey, if I was calling Legally. Sonic Corporate, if I was calling yeah. Sonic Corporate, you bet your ass I would have said cheddar. And to reward me for my brand loyalty, they probably would have given me a fucking gift certificate. 
They would have recognized the number, I'm sure. Hey, Dan's calling. Who wants to, who wants to take this one? I don't I mean, think it's Chet- called Sonic. Yeah. I mean, the Cheddar guy? He's the only one who says it like that. Just keep him going. Just keep him going. He did that. I'm sure everyone there has to say Cheddar. <laughs> You're the only one who says Cheddar. It sounds like something you track where the cheese is on like a scope, right? Hold on. Let me check the Cheddar. Let me, uh, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> Yeah, give me one of those. <laughs> you got a Gorgonzola pizza quicker. on the Cheddar. I repeat, there is a Gorgonzola <laughs> incoming on the Cheddar. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, I look forward to your uh, your next uh, your next Twitch stream where it will just. I'm sure if I pay a certain amount of bits, somebody will scream Cheddar, or uh, the screen will shake. Actually, I think I have to eat mustard and olives and a bunch of shit tomorrow night on my thing. So yeah, I'll be eating some gross stuff. Uh, so you don't like mustard? Uh, I've tried it. I think I think when I first started dating Bianca, she was like, "Oh, I've heard there's this really nice hot dog place uh, off Market Street in San Francisco." And I remember being like, "Okay, I'll be a big boy. I'll go try this fancy place with the fancy mustard." And I ate it, but I remember thinking the mustard was not something that was going to be happening again in my life. Have you ever had just like yellow mustard, just like a just like oh. an old barbecue? You should try that. I, I think no. you might like. No, okay. I think the fancy <laughs> mustard is not really up your alley. I think a basic yeah. yellow mustard could work in the right circumstance. The closest dog. thing, uh, yeah. the, the closest thing was um, McDonald's has the new BTS Nuggets meal, where it's like BTS, the Korean, the K-pop band, uh, yeah. did a branding thing with uh, Nuggets, and so there's special BTS sauces. And so if I don't know what something is, I'll eat anything. So it's like, that's why I thought, we've talked about the flavor crystals at White Castle. I ate those before I knew they were onions because I thought they were just mystery things or whatever. So likewise, I was oh, like, oh, it's I BTS sauce. One. It's BTS sauce. I don't know what it is. So I didn't even like look at the ingredients. I was just like, oh, a fun new sauce at McDonald's. And it's I tried it. It's K-pop. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, one, the I less thought it was like good. It, the more willing you are to eat. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty good. But then when I looked at the ingredients uh, afterwards, I saw that mustard was an ingredient. And so even though I liked it, I was like, I can't have the BTS sauce anymore. But you Wait. liked it. Hmm. I did. There was a time I threw away like a vat of macaroni and cheese my mom made because oh, yes. I loved it. I couldn't get enough of it. And then I yeah. found out I had sour cream in it and I threw it all away. Like, it's just, I can't. Once that's in my head and I know what it is, I can't get it out of my head. Have you yeah. ever looked at the ingredients on like uh, Taco Bell? That doesn't look. That's all great. Like, <laughs> I don't get I don't get it. Don't ruin the nothing, on reproach, okay? Nothing Nobody bad in Taco me. Bell, Vinny. I don't that's get sour bad. cream. I don't get Badness. tomatoes. It's No, it's all tor- tortilla Anything meat and cheese. Anything that resembles actual you, food, you, I get that. That's not on there. I don't I want tortilla, like that. No, you tortilla five, meat and cheese is fine. Five minutes research into any number of the chemicals that are in Taco Bell food. No, you I love chemicals. No, 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 no. That's where you are. I will eat things. every chemical. You give me a chemical and I'll eat it. You give me, like, I'm, <laughs> I've never been done wrong by chemicals. I don't think that's true. Oh my God. This is the worst. Didn't you oh, have didn't uh, you have a spicy no. chip that like made you shit blood in a McDonald's in the Upper well, East Side? Yeah, but that was like a dare thing. That was on the way to the Met. And yeah, that was a uh, I that was a, a dare thing. I expect a dare thing to fuck me up. So like, I, I seriously I will eat any number of chemicals before I eat mustard. Absolutely. There's so uh, many chemicals that would fuck you up. What if uh, I, I told you there are chemicals, chemicals in mustard? mustard. They taste good. What's that, Brad? What if I told you there are chemicals in mustard? If you could make a chemical only mustard, I would talk about it. <laughs> oh I man! Just I'm Dan. I've missed this. <laughs> most, <laughs> most yellow, <laughs> most yellow mustards kind of already are chemicals. I am jealous of Mary and I am jealous of Mike that they get to do this on a weekly basis with you. Because <laughs> that's I pretty good. Time. Mike's the weird one on our podcast. Yeah. No, that's, that's not true. true. It's not. That's Mike's true. the weird. Awesome. Mary, Mary, who's the weirdest one on our We're podcast? Both fucking weird. Don't. That's not true. Uh, but Mike's a little weirder. N- don't only love, his don't characters, love me but him. you're a genuine yeah. weirdo. Yeah, Mike's you are. Ge- Mike, you're not a genuine weirdo. No, I'm straight laced as hell. I've watched this man <laughs> jump into garbage cans for fun in New York City. It was that's not just, okay. It was in Hoboken, time. and it was not for yeah. fun. You bet me money. Uh, oh, I did. Yeah, I do oh, think okay, Mike well. is is odd for sure. But like, there's an element of it of just standard oddities that you you have decided that you would ingest chemicals more than you would ingest mustard. That does you know make me squint at you i just that's but that's what i grew up with and like that's what i know that's and okay so that's like, the things and i'm not judging with, you, you know? for i'm not acid, saying it's you know? bad let's not associate weird with bad but i'm gonna no. say yeah. it's weird 
I I, th- I think that's the fair. statement that chemicals have never done me wrong <laughs> is very good, <laughs> and I, I support this. <laughs> Same yeah, time, like Dan, Come lifelong on. Mr. Wizard fan. <laughs> I, I did like Mr. <laughs> Wizard. Oh, <laughs> uh, can we get? I want Dan. If you're selling merch for for Firescape, get a picture of Mr. Wizard <laughs> that just says chemicals ain't never done me wrong. <laughs> 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 never. <laughs> the estate yeah, of the Mr. Wizard trademark is he alive? <laughs> is his Mr. Wizard no, gonna sue us? De- no, okay. he's not been around for a while, my friend. <laughs> oh man, um, that's uh, hey. Listen, I'll say this. Y'all got some good chemistry, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, right. geez, look at this. Right. Look at that. Look at tons, that. That's... Tons of chemicals. Tons, <laughs> tons of chemicals. It was really cool to see you guys as well after the Giant Bomb departure do your own thing. I think that's awesome that you guys are keeping this live and, and, and doing that across the country and everything. So, uh, yeah, it, it feels good to see you guys still doing this stuff. Yeah, and I'm proud Thank of you, you guys for making something really cool and i'm just so excited for you to have seen such wonderful success and people are really supporting you and i think that's awesome and it couldn't go to better people oh that's super nice i'm gonna knock on wood here because i I, Mm -hmm. (laughs) we take the still are amazed yes take the compliment um yes thank you very much uh it is it's kind of amazing it's it's amazing and we are super thankful and in a way that i think all three of us kind of uh, are still a little reeling from it, so so mm. thanks. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. I think we we talk Gosh, constantly Matt. about yeah yeah. What's going on here? What's uh, which going is great. on? You What's don't have to say a number. Here? You don't have to say a number. But did you guys internally amongst yourselves before you launched the thing have kind of a? Did you guys have your own guesses about like how many patrons and stuff you would get? Oh, we had guesses for sure. Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. just say we shattered that, that all of those expectations. That was my assumption. Yeah, <laughs> that was my assumption. Uh, I, I really quick, Dan. I was super excited to see you uh, get some State of Decay two in there, Brad. Oh, thank I, you. Uh, thank I you. play that you, game you and me. on and off throughout the years a lot, and it's gotten really good since uh, it first came out. So that's okay. great. Yes, vastly underrated game. But see, now I, can, I have an excuse to drag these guys into it, and they can't say no. Yeah, I've been <laughs> watching. The patrons, it. the patrons have spoken, and that's the yeah. content. And All now right. we're gonna do it. And now Brad <laughs> is the warlord, and we are doing his bidding. That's right. Um. And and are we in the wrap up? Is this officially the wrap up? Or no, uh, I'll okay. let you we got know. time. Don't I'll we? do like Talking everyone there. be quiet. <laughs> I'll tell you. Okay, good. good. <laughs> I'll interrupt you. Uh, We're good. Go for it. Live your life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I was gonna say, and you guys, uh, I can't, I can't believe you were able to get uh, together and do like a real tight 30 minute, 20, 30 minute podcast. We were yeah. shooting for, yeah. yeah. Dream, we wanted you know? to be sure we were used to doing longer podcasts yeah. in other places, but let's keep this one tight. Keep People, tight. you know, time, time is precious, you know, so let's, <laughs> yeah, just, right. yeah. 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 We, and none of us were busy. So we figured let's just, you know, burn a few hours in our day. We got just nothing but time, all of us. So yeah, why not? It's say, super it stressful. Actually, it's very impressive that you guys, you know, have pulled all this together because you do have day jobs. Like we are doing yeah. we this all do. entirely as our thing, and you guys have other work yeah. on top of that. But you are still making a very enjoyable show. So we like talking to each it. other. We That's we would always say like, if there's something going on, just tell us and we'll leave. But turns out we don't have anything else going on, so we might as well talk. And we enjoy doing it. So until someone's tired or hungry, we're pretty good. <laughs> and I I've eaten a couple sandwiches while we while mm-hmm. we record. We got screenshots, yeah. Uh, it, I love the that. thing is, because we don't like view it as our job or anything, and it's just so loose, and we don't really like plan it out. It does just feel like we're hanging out. That's it. So it's like that's that's why it doesn't feel like work, or that like even if we did work all day at our day jobs and had all these other projects and stuff, it kind of feels like hey, let's relax and have a beer and talk to our friends. So like it's been uh, very it's like very this. fun to do with. This Mike doesn't and Mary. feel like yeah. work. It doesn't. I'm yeah. not like oh, listen, guys, I gotta go back to emails. I'm excited to do this. Probably. I am not in an interest of wrapping it up, but. Um, you know, it's amazing how quickly an hour goes with six people. Um, I would love to hear your favorite story of PAX super quick. <laughs> oh, we have a little time? All right, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Favorite that was story, the go point. Around. That was what I pitched, and we didn't get there. <laughs> very good, very good. No one's going to arrest us. <laughs> It was like a month after I joined. I really liked the parlor as well. I got to hang out with uh, with everybody. I met Bianca there too. Aww, I met yeah. Bianca at a PAX as well. Yep, and that's when I, I remember that. And then Mary, and that was super fun. Yeah, Mary, I remember uh, you talking to Bonk for a long time after like a like we were doing meet and greet stuff, and I remember it was cool seeing you and, and Bonk talking over there for a she while. She is lovely. She's the best. She is. Yes. Vinny, what were you going to say? 
Uh, this is going to sound super corny, but it's actually very true. It is, uh, it is just meeting all the people outside, after our panel and, and going out and just kind of talking to people who were there. Um, and sometimes people would be so nervous and I would be like, I don't understand why you are ner <laughs> nervous talking to me. Like, bring it in here. Let's just talk. And, yeah. and just having conversations with, with people uh, was, was always the best part of Hacks for me, uh, especially because it was always seemed so weird that people would show up to watch us do a thing. Uh, and then, you know, it was very nice to, to hang out with people after. Great. Brad, do you want to go or me? Go. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll go. I'm still thinking. Uh, mine is League of Heels related. Uh, you know, might have thought it might have been becoming champion, winning the actual Royal Rumble, the only one that didn't have any scripting involved, uh, you know, all that stuff. No, it wasn't that. Mm -hmm. uh, I had always had a childhood dream as a dumb little wrestling fan that I wanted one day to be able to be on a stage and to pull off a hoodie and have a t-shirt of a fucking some wrestling stable underneath and have that be a big heel turn. And I got to do that. And I also got to spit Red Mist in Dan's face at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I lived that dream. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't know. Watching Ryan drink that breast milk remains a highlight. <laughs> That's hard to argue with. Uh, the yeah, build up, the build up to and release of that saga was something to watch. Um, <laughs> but honestly, I would echo what Vinny said, and especially that first one we went to, that very first one when like we were super new, and also Pax was not that old, and it was like we didn't have any sense of what any of that meant at that point, right? Like that was kind of the first real time we were out there. Like we had been to E three, but that's a business conference, right? But this was the mm -hmm. first time we were like having people come up to us and say like, "Oh, I like what you do," and like that was a very like new experience. It must have felt good though. At, like you didn't get that at GameSpot a lot because it was a very like buttoned up, straight laced corporate kind of media machine, right? And this was like just four dudes going to a thing, and then people were coming up and saying hello, and it was mm. very cool. It was well, weird, Giant, but yeah, it was nice. Giant Bomb was always like you know before the panel for like an hour and a half, you'd see people all sitting on the floor playing 3ds or whatever just lined up down the hallway like all with like you know the merch and stuff like it, it was really really cool to see even before i came on board i would come to your guys' panels and just see like the the uh, the fan base really was into it and uh, that was my first taste of that and it was like wow this is there's something special here that, that makes good. me feel bad that we never planned anything uh maybe we should have i don't know <laughs> No. Mary, what was your favorite PAX? Uh, my first pla PAX ever when I was still really trying to make it uh, and be kind of found in the industry, I lost my phone and I was at a hotel at the time. So I went to the concierge and they gave me my phone with a note attached to it. And it said, us game industry girls got to stick together. And it was not signed. Oh. So I don't know who did that, but a girl in the game industry must have found my phone and I bet it was in the bathroom and turned it in with that note. And I just want to say thank you. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Aww. It was a nice way to be like, oh, this place yeah. isn't evil and people yeah. will help me. And right. I'm, I'm dumb, but someone will assist me if I need it. And it was a boost of confidence I really needed. I will say the number of like negative experiences I had at PAX were greatly dwarfed by the number of positive ones. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Very few like actual like, ah, this sucks moments. Like I really... As, as harrowing as the, the crowds could be and all of that, like I've, I've almost always had fun at the shows that we've gone to. I love totally. that. Um, I'm glad that you guys like PAXs. Um, that's probably going to be our, our wrap, but I do want to ask what everybody's doing, um, what you got coming up, and what's what's coming down the pipe if you want to pitch something. So I'll start with you, Vinny, and tell me, tell me what's going on. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll take this one for, for Alex and Brad, I guess. We are mm -hmm. we're next lander. Uh, we uh, we are on uh, twitch.tv slash nextlander. We try to stream uh, most days. I think right now we're doing uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, one, one thing or another, with Wednesday being when we record our podcast. You can catch us there. Our archives are on um, youtube.com slash nextlander. And we are fully supported right now through uh, fantastic patrons, uh, and if you want to become uh, a patron and support us, you can go to patreon.com slash nextlander. We have been trying to keep as much as we can for uh, free out there for everybody, thanks to the support of patrons. We are not a subscription service. We are, we're doing a Patre uh, Patreon right now uh, and trying to think of fun rewards and stuff for people who have been very generous and, and donating to that Patreon. So you can go to, again, patreon.com slash nextlander. 
uh, if you'd like to come support us and uh, and hang out. We have a really amazing Discord, and thanks to all our mods out there who have, have really helped keep that place great and uh, the community there. A lot of fun places uh, uh, or fun chats going on in that Discord. So I uh, hope you can, if you're watching this for the first time, come join us over there as well. Do it. I think it's absolutely worth it. Good money. Uh, I am a patron of you guys. I absolutely love it. Good stuff on there. Um, thank you for coming on this dope panel with us. Thanks for having us. What are you guys up to? Oh, yeah, I'm going to throw it to Dan, oh. who has not practiced okay. this at all and has no rehearsal <laughs> no. necessary. Take it away. Dan's, no. not a, Dan's, Dan's not a promoter. I don't know if no. people know this. Dan's not a really good no. promoter. Real freaking. No, this is, this is new to him. Yeah, you sorry. Stay humble anyway, Dan, that. go on. If you need help, let me know. I know you don't okay. do this often, but no. Well, we wanted to try something that we didn't see a lot of people in the gaming space do. Um, so what we are doing is uh, people have been asking since day one that uh, they want video versions of the Fire Escape cast. And so we talked about it, me, Mike, and Mary. And sure enough, live right now, we have launched a Patreon. Uh, <laughs> Vinny, Vinny, we'll talk offline. I got some questions. Um, but no, starting with Monday's episode, our seventh episode, uh, we just got two tiers, keeping it simple. We've got a $5 tier, and that's going to be ad-free episodes of the audio version. Uh, and then we've got an $8 tier where you get the ad-free episodes of the podcast, and you also get full-length video episodes each week. We have brought on Jake Decker uh, to be you know somebody we've all worked with and know. Uh, he's going to be our video producer. He's, he's cutting the audio now and everything. So yeah, $5 tier, $8 tier, fireescapecast.com or patreon.com slash fireescape. Uh, it's active now, so you should be able to go there now, and as of Monday, you'll get the first ad-free episode and the video version. So that is what we are doing. That's a new thing for us. Yeah. One thing we learned is that it's good to have the thing live when you announce it. So Yes, mm -hmm. and it good. should You're be live now. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah, it's live. Mm -hmm. oh, it's been tip. live since this morning, but no one noticed, so it's still a surprise. We'll post it's a sneaky it later. launch. Uh, Anybody who went to firescapecast.com today might have figured it out, but we didn't hear anything on socials. That's true. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and then personally, uh, uh, I got uh, Panning the Stream podcast and also twitch.tv slash Dan Reichert. I got a big marathon Mario Party thing I'm doing tomorrow night. It'll probably go like, it went 12 hours last year. Uh, I got a big game show wheel. Vinny, I, I made a game show wheel and I, I've somehow turned it into a big monstrous uh, game show, believe it or not. So uh, Stop uh, buying... it. That just seems silly. So yeah, like yeah. Bonk is buying a bunch of pickles and olives. Really and, out of uh, character. Gross shit and everything. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It's so see, that's, it's, that's tomorrow I'm going to say, it seems a little bananas oh come ah. on now jeez <laughs> don't steal my sunshine this is my moment <laughs> very, good. very good well uh, this was the run folks <laughs> oh man too far alex um <laughs> Chen, <was> moving a... <laughs> on it was oh, a game show <laughs> This panel was the bomb. I don't think we brought our B game today. I think we brought our A game, everyone. <laughs> but what is nice. a B game, really? Yeah, That's a good is, point. Yeah. What is the quality? Or is it, let's talk about it. Uh -huh. You guys. Uh, this is fun. Well, sorry that's... I was late. I'm that's... glad you could join us, Mike. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for making the time. With busy things. Here, wait. No. Oh, I got shit. I grabbed the wrong image. <laughs> yeah. I do that all the time. I'll put them back. All right. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. Cover them up. Here's our Mikey. Hey, that's my okay, candy. Come play the basketball game. I go. Oh. Good thing I can't catch it. Put that rubber band, the bouncy ball in the cat. Put that bouncy ball in the basketball hoop. That orange hoop with the fabric. Put the ball through. Do it. Do it. Go 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 to our Patreon. Thank if you. If you like what you're seeing, <laughs> go to our Patreon. <laughs> you can get more of this. Thank you guys for watching. He's one of the lost. He's one of the lost boys. <laughs> Skatecast.com. Give us money through Patreon. And then we'll play basketball against me. A $3,000 tier. You play one-on-one -on -one basketball. That's not true. He's lying. He's I'm lying. canceling us. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye.